Jeremy yeah. from yeah. Orange. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Coach, uh, more after the win here tonight Loose over. More. Huh? Loose more. Loose more. There you go. <laughs> after the win here tonight over East Chapel Hill and. What did you see out there tonight, Joe Light? Um, well, that was probably, that was a great defensive effort. Um, I know we gave up a couple of big plays there towards the end, but when, when you're playing a team that runs the style offense that they run, you know it's always a scary thing because you got to have you got to be a very disciplined team, and we really hadn't been that disciplined. So I was extremely happy with the way our defense played tonight. Mm -hmm. Talk about uh, your defense hustling to get those uh, turnovers. Well, that I mean, that's like I said, that's huge. Um, we took away, you know, they're they're a big option football team. Um, we practiced really hard on on making sure that, it, that everybody was covering their responsibilities in practice this week. Uh, you know, we got to make sure you got the dive, the quarterback, and the pitch all covered, and they did a great job of doing that tonight. And it caused them to have some turnovers. What about your offensive line? Seemed to really uh, uh, open up holes and, and uh, they they started they started that. coming around there uh, about the, about the third quarter. The third I think quarter. we started wearing wearing Chapel Hill East Chapel Hill down a little bit. Yeah. Um, and they were able to, we were able to start running the ball some there when we needed to. Right. Um, you know, it took some time off the clock. That really helped out. Any standout players for you in, in this particular game? Um, Sean Hill played, plays uh, he's, plays um, one of our defensive tackles. Uh -huh. um, and he had, I think, I haven't watched the film yet, but, you know, I'm, I'm thinking he probably had a pretty pretty good game. It looked like he was in on a whole lot of tackles. Okay. Um, uh, Simon Little, our, one of our outside linebackers, had a tremendous game, had a big play on the reverse down here when they were going in to score. Mm -hmm. Um, and ended up uh, keeping them out. So um, those two guys probably players of the game for us. Yeah. Coach, what about uh, Shamar in this game? What did you think about his Um, game? You know, Shamar runs hard. And like I've said before, he's good for this offense. Uh, you know, he had a couple of really good runs there at the end. I would like to see him get in the end zone there at the end. But, you know, that's all right. He, he got us down there where we needed to be. He's on. He's tough to tackle. You know, he's got such quick feet, and he makes good moves, good quick moves, uh, and sees the hole pretty well. So, he's he's a good fit for this offense. Good way to go into the Labor Day weekend. You get eight days prepared now for Riverside. Yep, and it was a short week this week. You know, yeah. we only had three days to get ready for these guys, which really scared me when you're playing offense like this. Um, and then to be able to hold them to six points is, is huge. Hopefully, it gave our defense some confidence. Um, you know, if we could go uh, go over to Riverside and, and hopefully pull out a win over there, you know that would be it'd be huge for the school to start off three and one. I'm sorry, Coach. Uh, it says Steve Johnson's the head coach. Are you? You're Scott I'm the, Lusmore. I'm the interim head coach because okay. Coach Johnson's out. Okay, Scott Lusmore, is that yes. correct? All right, thank you. I'm good. Well, Coach, we'll talk to you next week. Here, we'll have the game on HillsboroughSports.com broadcast on uh, broadcast live for uh, Riverside. Thank good you. Good deal. Thank you. Mm -hmm.